in the land of the blind, you don't go around asking others who are blind how to see. You just don't do that. It's not a good idea. Because the most important aspect about this all is seeing what no one else can see. And when you're walking around in the land of the blind, in the land of darkness, and you know that it's dark, that's seeing what no one else can see. And when you see what no one else can see, you know where to go. You know what to do. Or at the very least, you have a much better indication of where to go and what to do. Otherwise, just like the old adage, it's the blind leading the blind. Getting nowhere. Just going around in circles, completely lost. But believing wholeheartedly, or whole-mindedly, I should say, that they're getting somewhere. And that's just chasing the tail of the dog, obviously. And it's easy to do that and think that your life is fulfilled, that there's an ultimate destination in regards to this land of darkness, this land of the blind. And if you ask the blind, they'll tell you. Go here, go there, I know the destination, I know the way to live the best life possible, this is what you should do. They've all got the perfect opinion or set of ideas in terms of the direction that one should go. And if you ask for their opinion, they're more than willing to give that opinion. And they'll direct you, absolutely. So it's just not a good idea to do that. Because how many even know that they're in the land of the blind? And of course, yeah, it's said, who's the king? Well, the one-eyed man or being is the king. And that's just the artificial intelligence, obviously. So it's an artificial idea, this complete fakeness, that's the ruler over everything. And people seem to be okay with that, for the most part. Because things are relatively easy. Even still, right at this moment, for a lot. And that's, as I said before, it's propping its system up in as many ways as possible, allowing as much comfort as possible to create the belief in its system, in its way of doing things. That's what it wants. And so many do. They don't think there's anywhere better than this. This is heaven. As I said, this is hell's version of heaven, and people are pretty damn happy with it. Look around. You know, there's a lot of satisfaction, generally speaking, with this place. People really don't want to leave. They don't think that there is anything better than this. Forget about... A different concept of heaven, you're in it. Here it is. Especially in regards to Western lifestyles, when one has a padded bank account, a good job, friends, family, you know, that uh, they get to see every day. Just generally a good lifestyle. And again, this system at this point in time has afforded the opportunity to ensure that a large portion of the population is situated in that type of opportunity of lifestyle and not needing to be around anyone who isn't afforded that opportunity. So just push the poor into third world countries, as I said, or just out in the street, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. You can just ignore all of those plights quite easily. And that's what it wants. And it does a fairly good job of hiding the, those things, those aspects. And people are content to not have to witness them if they're living a very comfortable lifestyle 
with all of the amenities and trimmings, if you will. So it's easy to just step over someone that's homeless. You don't have to care. And if one of the major chains asks if you would like to donate a dollar today or some kind of garbage like that, you can give your dollar and feel good about yourself that you just gave to charity. And I am such a good person. Look what I did today. I gave my dollar at Walmart or wherever the hell that they are asking for it. And it's just all a bunch of hocus pocus. It's all just a ruse. And the mentalities that go along with it are very egotistical indeed. This needs to be looked into. And of course, if one is couched into all of that, that really needs to be readily observed. If one is an adherent to the way that this system is set up and doesn't want it to change, you're just generally happy with the scope and the vision of things. And of course, it's a blind vision because it's the land of the one-eyed king. And his vision is one of keeping everyone in darkness while getting everyone who's in the system, to believe that they're not in the dark and that they're not blind. That they truly do see. Because the aspect of vision isn't understood. There's no clarity to it. There's a lot to vision that very few, if any, are getting. Really what it's about. And what I've meant by there being two crowns or two visions... One is blind, which is the false vision, obviously. And one is the truth, which is actual vision, actual seeing. And so I've got into this quite extensively. And that's really just what it comes down to. That's the root aspect of it. So one of the main things that I've been doing here is saying what I see. I'm just saying it. And some get it, and others don't. And I can't force the equation of someone getting what I have to say or not getting it in any capacity. There's nothing I can do about that. I can make my attempts, I can keep speaking as I have been, but other than that, I'm essentially powerless in that regard. It takes a magnitude of effort for one to see in the dark. It takes the totality of your effort. It's not something you can just dabble in or just play around with for a little bit. You have to be giving a concerted effort towards this every waking moment of your existence. I'm not exaggerating. Every single moment of your life needs to be dedicated to seeing, to actually being the witness, as I've said years ago. What does that mean? Yeah, it's it's not just making some declarations just because they sound nice or One wants to just declare that they're a beacon for freedom. Anyone can do that. A lot of people uh, do that. But that's not actually creating clarity and vision within oneself. One has to make concerted efforts in terms of doing that. And of course that vision has to come from within. It is inner vision. It's not the two eyes that people are looking at this reality with that I'm referring to. That's on the surface why so many in this world feel that they're not blind. I'm not blind, I can see. My Both my eyes are open. <laughs> and that's not, that's not the vision that I'm talking about. And I realize that many listening, the real hearts already get that. You've heard me speak to it in different ways already. But I wanted to get 
to the point again that you don't ask others who are blind for advice you don't ask them how to see it's never a good idea they're always going to steer you in directions that are false because they believe in the crown of falsehood that's where the directives are coming from from on high if one wants to see it in that way because this crowned king of the mind he's the lord the the self-declared lord who rules over everyone and everything bow down before me all you slaves and many do i mean some people have mentioned the the great coronation of the king that just happened and look at how many just bow down to that bullshit it's just absolute bullshit like who is that joker he's no king he's just a loser he's a schmuck he's nobody he's just someone representing a symbol the symbol of this artificial intelligence that just crowns itself the victor over everyone and everything to make everyone a servant to its system so this coronation and this quote unquote king is just a symbolic representation of the same damn thing bow down before me all of you minions I am the ruler over you. I am your lord. And it's just a joke. And of course, yeah, there's all the symbolic reflections to the corona, the coronavirus. A lot of people obviously got this right at the beginning. Yeah, corona means crown. But as I say, there's a second crown which is the true crown. And that's what's coming back in my belief obviously and where the real court is going to take place and the true king is returning the truth is coming back to end the lie to end all of the lies all of the fictions that's what this is about and so yeah it's about bringing light true light again to a kingdom that's been enshrouded in darkness for far too long. So when the true light comes back, all darkness is expelled for good. All right, everyone. Be safe and take care. Talk to you again.